Tornado touchdown. Amazingly clear dash cam video of the Twister in Pompano Beach. An NBC6 viewer captured the images as he was driving through the area trying to escape the storm. And you can see the destruction in Miramar and the strong winds whip trees and debris in this neighborhood complex. The surveillance video shows the minute the storm battered portions of Miramar. We have extensive live team coverage tonight and we begin with NBC6 reporter Marissa Bagg who's joining us live from Pompano Beach. Marissa. Jack and Juwan, we're seeing a lot of down trees here along Dixie Highway like this one you see behind me, but the major damage comes in the form of businesses being out of money because essentially they're out of business, at least for now. Check out this auto shop, unsafe structure. They can't open back up until the roof is repaired. Ceiling tiles and trash now sit in piles where Murray's Auto Parts store used to do business along Dixie Highway in Pompano Beach. Took the roof off in the uh, uh, rain, wind-driven rain, ceiling tiles, merchandise everywhere on the floor. It's just, it's just a mess. Sunroofs are for cars, not for buildings, especially not for speed shops. <laughs> The EF1 tornado that tore through about 7 o'clock this morning slammed the warehouses next door and ripped up the roof. Total disaster for my business. And nothing you can do about it? Nothing at all. I'm just, I just don't know what to say. We were just lucky nobody was hurt. Several people were at Pompano Beach's Sand and Spurs Horse Park near I-95 and Atlantic Boulevard when the storm rolled through. Many horses panicked and bolted out of their stalls. So just kind of hoping they would not totally freak out and escape or really don't have time to think. I'm, I'm sure the horse is in a little bit of shock. A few miles southeast along the Intracoastal in Fort Lauderdale, wild winds overturned boats and sunk others. People who were on those boats swam out to safety as help arrived. I stay at home in the side, inside and says, OK, let's call 911 because we saw people in the water. The cleanup well underway, but some of it will take some time, like replacing the D, A and R blown off from the Goodyear blimp hangar. So no word on when these businesses will open back up. We also wanted to mention one of the horses at that horse park did get hurt. It got a gash on its side running out of the stable in the middle of that storm. We're told it got some stitches and should be just fine. Reporting live in Pompano Beach tonight, I'm Marissa Bagg, NBC6 News. And our live team coverage continues now with NBC6's Jamie Garola, who has more on the damage done in Miami-Dade, especially in North Miami Beach. Jamie. That's right, electricity is a priority tonight. 85,000 people initially without power. Now that number in Miami-Dade is reduced to a little bit less than 2,000. But the best number we can report to you tonight is the number of injuries, and that is zero. Cell phone video captures some of the most intense moments today. Whipping winds, heavy downpours, and damage. Lots of it scattered across Miami-Dade and Broward counties. Right now, we're just waiting for it to all be cleaned up. Tonight... The sound of work trucks backing up, rakes, and chainsaws echo from street to street as neighbors and homeowners pick up after Mother Nature's fury. The National Weather Service confirming Northeast Miami-Dade hit hard by an EF1 tornado. The storm likely caused this major mess on I-95 by Ives Dairy Road. A highway sign spanning the southbound lane sheared off. Which caused an accident between three vehicles, three cars, and a uh, tractor trailer. M my kids were by the door and they said it started raining and suddenly it was like pink lightning. Just like it got kind of quiet, really rainy, and that's when the power went out. And then the wind just started going and it was just something... It sounded like a train. North Miami Beach also pounded by roaring winds before sunrise. After sunset, many still without power, taking in the unexpected chaos. This is this is nuts. Um, I didn't even I, I didn't really see when this happened. I heard something, but since it was so rainy and windy, you couldn't even really see outside. And then um, it kind of sparked, and it just it's been there since. 8 o'clock. In other neighborhoods, massive trees split or uprooted. Now the focus for a lot of people is clean up and power on. No, we don't have power. And there's part of a tree on the back of our house. And as you can see, FBL behind me working very hard to restore power to all of its customers. The city of North Miami Beach says it filled at least 20 dump trucks full of debris. Cleanup could take several days.
Reporting live tonight in North Miami Beach, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News. All right, Jamie, thank you. And a live look outside right now where things are a lot calmer. But what's in store for the overnight hours? South Florida Chief Meteorologist John Morales joins us now with more on that. John. Well, definitely a calm night. The live first alert operator are not showing any rain right now, and we don't expect any rain actually for the next several days. We're going to enter another long stretch of rain free conditions. It looks like our next chance for a squall line like what we had this morning might be a week from tonight, but that's way down the road and we'll look at that in the seven day forecast. For the time being, let's talk about tonight. Uh, you mentioned uh, conditions being calm and indeed the rest of tonight, despite some clouds, high clouds mainly that are out there right now, uh, we're not expecting any rain. Temperatures will drop from the upper 60s into the lower 60s, so these are seasonable temperatures. Low humidity tomorrow should be a delightful day with lots of sun. Uh, now about the long term forecast, I'll have that in just a few minutes. Back to you. John, thank you. You want now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist John Morales, South Florida's most accurate forecast. Well, the rain long gone, so are the storms and, of course, the tornadoes, the surprising tornadoes here in South Florida this morning. Right now, live for Alert Doppler not showing any precipitation. So let's talk about these tornadoes. Numerous reports of sightings and damage. Uh, the one that occurred in Dade County, which uh, started near Norland and moved towards the east, crossing I-95 and reaching the area near Aventura along a three-mile-long path that was up to 200 yards wide. Now, uh, the tornado uh, did skip along, so there were portions that were not as impacted as others. Nevertheless, we're talking about an EF1 tornado winds between 90 and 100 miles per hour. The other one now, as you can see, in Broward County, touching down just to the uh, west of the Pompano Beach Air Park and crossing the northern section of that airport near the Goodyear Blimp and then further towards the northeast along again a three mile path up to 200 yards wide and lifting up near Lighthouse Point. Again, a, a, non, a discontinuous line of uh, damage along that part of Broward County earlier today. Another possible tornado now uh, might have occurred in Davie. This one not confirmed yet by the National Weather Service. They haven't sent a survey team out there. This part of, as you can see, numerous reports of wind or wind damage or hail up to nickel size. Much of this in southern Broward and northern Miami-Dade County. All right, switching to current temperatures, it is cooling down out there. We have 70 Key West, Miami, and Fort Lauderdale, but all the way down to 64 at this hour in Tamiami Airport in Kendall. The front starting to move away from us despite lingering clouds across South Florida. Uh, those upper level clouds won't yield any rain. You can expect, however, the sun to be filtered by some of these clouds tomorrow. And again, we're into a stretch now, or about to begin a stretch of several days with no precipitation. The next rain chance uh, as you can see, would be on Tuesday. By the way, Tuesday night of next week looks busy. We could see another squall line like this. We'll see. It's a long ways away, and things could change between now and then. Now, tomorrow, uh, looking uh, pretty nice. Again, some high clouds around. Here's your 7 a.m. look. We have a north to northwest wind, and then the clouds move out by 10 o'clock and noontime, and we'll continue with mainly sunny conditions throughout the afternoon. Tomorrow, a dry day. No worries with rain. No worries with severe weather. A look for a high temperature again near 79 degrees. 76 Thursday and Friday will be breezier both of those days. Notice our coldest night, by the way, is also uh, Wednesday night into Thursday early morning. So a little bit on the chilly side. Otherwise, lows in the 60s, highs in the 70s for the next six days. And the weekend, right now anyway, looks to be dry. Back to you. Thanks, John.